Hello once again everyone and welcome back to Run Through. Now, uh, just before this episode, I've heated up uh, most of our bronze ingots. I left one back in the chest. I made some more hafts, uh, another dry rocks because our old one broke. Um, let's see, did I do anything else? I did not. Uh, so today, oh yeah, uh, I set this up. I'll tell you why in a minute. Today, we're going to be preparing, not doing much else, we're going to be preparing for a trip uh, to find some more ore. Just preparing, sounds a little boring, but it's more forging, showing a few more recipes, also showing how to craft armor. Specifically chain armor, since we don't exactly have the resources for much more, and medium level armor is really the best for travel. Now, to begin to make chain armor, we've got these heated bronze ingots. Place them down like this. One like that. Take another one. Like that. And one more. I said one more. Like that will make uh, tongs. And that makes, or if I had put that in a different spot, it would have made an arrowhead. But we're going to make bronze links which are the first step in chain mail. So, I'm just going to finish off our stone hammer, like this. And actually, we're going to be making three things today. We're going to be making bronze links, which are going to be used for chain armor. We're going to be making a bronze war axe, uh, which is going to be our new weapon. And we are going to be making... Uh, what was the third thing? A bronze hammer. That was it. Oops, put that in the wrong spot. Now, you see the recipe for these links. It's kind of boring. I'm just going to make all these links at once. So I don't have to keep grabbing this and making more. And this shouldn't take any too long. So this is my second We're really going to need the bronze hammer after this, because it's got more durability than either of the hammers we've been using so far, and that's going to be very important. Now these tongs, I'm going to stick with stone tongs, because they're cheap to make. Um, it's not like you can't hold things with these tongs, so yeah, not really a huge loss at not making other tongs. But the recipe is easy enough, just two ingots, like this, uh, oh, and this is the recipe for an arrowhead, uh, we might be using that eventually, if we make a bow, and we probably will be, because I happen to love bows. Now, we don't really need to worry about quality with, uh, these links, because they don't have durability, but I still like to keep them and durable. Now, let's see. I think... Alright, let's begin making the chain mail. Making a sheet of chain is just like this. Four chain in a... Four chain in a little square like this. Just hit it a couple of times. Yeah, really only a couple of times. Just like that. And it makes... One chain for each four. Now let's see. Yeah, so we're going to need to make some more chain. Um, so just take four chain from four more ingots from here. Just this seems like a lot of chain, but it's not as much when you think about uh, how we're making these chain sheets from this. You know that you've seen the recipe for both of these. I'm just going to skip ahead a little to once I've finished with my uh, forging of chain sheets. I'm going to show you the armor and then we're going 
going to get started on the war axe. All right, so I'll just fast forward here, and we'll see you in a minute. Stupid door-to-door -door salesman. Uh, let's see. Do I have any weapons? Boo. Hold on. I just need to get something to hit you with. Uh, knife. Axe. Hello? Where'd you go? Nope. Hello? gonna save that. I mean, it's kind of cheating, but I'll take what I can get. Not gonna use it just yet. Actually, we can't use it just yet. Anyway, back to forging. Alright, now that we've got all this chain done, as you can see, 24. Just like uh, making a regular armor set. You set it up like I'll make our. Let's see. There we go. That makes chest plate. This, pretty much, you just use regular armor patterns with this chain. And we can make this chain out of anything from iron to steel to ignotumite, which is something we'll run into later. Alright, I really should have kept a better eye on the quality level there. Just gonna finish this off like that so I don't break it. Grab this helmet off. Alright. And then we're just going to need to make the pants. And we'll be all set for a little expedition. Actually, we still need the weapon. Alright, so just set up our pants. Like so. And forge this. Just about done. There we go. Full set of bronze chain. Take off our old hide, which is pretty much useless now. Now, next up we make a war axe. To make a war axe, we just put this in the pattern of a regular axe. So, I may as well show you how to make a regular axe. We use hafts because bronze and up need hafts instead of planks. It used to be you needed planks and leather. This makes a bronze axe. To turn it into a war axe, take one more ingot, throw it down right here, nope, here, and it makes a war axe, which is going to be our best friend. So just, or my best friend, really. You guys aren't really going to be the ones using it, are you? Or maybe you will. Maybe you like the war axe, too. Now, the reason I'm making a war axe and not a sword is that the war axe is more suited... Oh, telemarketer. Let's see if I can do this. 
you the first test of the war axe. Hello there, sir. What are you trying to sell me? Nothing. Go away then. You and your friends had better stop contacting me. Take me off the call list. Put me on the no call list. Yeah. That should teach them. Wouldn't even tell me what he was selling. All right then. So next, we need to make a quick hammer. We're just going to grab a piece of bronze, throw it down here, and just take one haft, put it down like that, and hit it. We have ourselves a bronze hammer. Because as you can see by the end of all this, our copper hammer is nearly broken. Now, I think that's it for this episode, really. Uh, there's not much else to do. Um, we've constructed some tools. We've got some much better armor. It's taken a little damage already, but it's protected us pretty well. So, uh, I believe that's all I really needed to do this episode, oddly enough. Um, next episode, anyone, anyway, next episode, we're going to be going out and hunting for a cave. Actually, in between episodes, I may search around for a good one, so that you don't have to watch me searching through everything. Uh, and that's it. Oh, uh, also, I forgot to, ex I think I forgot to explain why I set down our old anvil. Well, when you have a heated ingot left in the forge, it can actually cool down. So what I do is I take it out and I set it on, and I set a bunch of ingots on an anvil, and I can use that to, and it'll keep them hot while I work with other ingots. So then I can just grab them off one anvil, put them on the other, and keep working. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Remember to uh, tell your friends if you liked it, and if you didn't like it, tell your enemies. See you guys later.